Beginning firing sequence. My name is Jeremy Schultz. In three, two, one. I have been working for Navair for four years here at Pax River. I'm an engineering technician. I do mostly electronics work, data acquisition, instrumentation, high speed video, event sequencing. Today I am working here at the Wind Blast as uh, the test controller. System arms. Today we are testing a helmet and a neck protection device that will protect the pilot if he has to eject from the aircraft. There's a seat specified for the test that the mannequin sits in based on what type of aircraft it goes in. Then there's the gear that goes on the mannequin as far as the helmet and uh, sometimes we test things that go on the uh, flight vest. We put the mannequin in the seat, we simulate some of the things that happen during ejection like the inertia reels that pull the pilot into the seat, the leg and arm restraints that, that actuate during an ejection. Um, those are all tightened down. These are our two electric air compressors. They're 75 horsepower piece. We would have to leave them on for th up to three hours to get up to uh, our 650 key shot, which is our maximum airspeed shot. This is the reservoir for the air that's being released. So the air compressors are pumping air into these manifolds, which 100 bottles are connected to, and they are piped into five big stainless steel valves this is what holds the pressure um, inside the bottle. This is the, the triggering system, which is a pilot. It triggers these actuators, which move up and down, move the linkage, which opens the valve and releases all the pressure into the mixing chamber and then out the nozzle. We set up our high-speed video. Pan right, focus. Then we basically let it rip, hit it with the air. On-site three-minute warning, five. Four, three, two, one, fire. The data that we collect, the, the video that we collect, and the overall wind blast test is very important uh, to air crew because it reduces injuries and reduces the loss of life.